Hello and welcome all. This is Akhilesh from MP Filtry. As we all know that right now the world is facing COVID-19 pandemic and as a result lot of travel restrictions throughout the globe. Also sometimes we are not able to visit our customers within the same city due to ongoing curfews. But where there is a will, there is a way. So uh, through my this video presentation, I would like to take an opportunity to present our portable particle counter LPA3. To begin with, first I would like to introduce our company MP Filtry. MP Filtry is a well-known name in the field of filtration. It's a 55 years old company which has headquarter at Italy near Milan. We have manufacturing facilities in Italy and also in United Kingdom. All the contamination monitoring products including LPA3 are manufactured in our plant at United Kingdom. So let's now move to the product to uh, see its various features and specifications and how it works. Portable particle counter LPA3. So let us first understand what's a particle counter and why is it used. Basically a particle counter measures the size and number of particles in a fluid which is passing through it. So by using particle counters we can have a time to time check or an online continuous monitoring on the cleanliness levels of the fluid which is passing through uh, the particle counter and also which are circulating into our system. If we see, it's a well-known fact that 70 to 80 percent of the hydraulic failures occur due to the contamination. So it is very important to maintain the cleanliness of the fluid to maintain the health of an hydraulic system. So by using the particle counters, we can maintain the health of a hydraulic system. Also, particle counters are a very good preventive maintenance tool. We can take in-time actions to improve the health of the system and hence we can avoid unplanned downtimes and also the production losses. Now let's move to the product and see how it works and what are it. So let's check the product now. So first I would show you the side connections. Basically LPA3 portable particle counter comes in a robust portable case. The weight of the unit is not much. This is just 10 kgs. And here you can see the side connections. This is the inlet and outlet port. This is the power button. This is also IP rated. This is the connection uh, for the charger. Here you can see this is the port for the USB. This unit can store up to 4000 readings. This is a memory of 4000 readings. While we can put a pen drive, take all the readings, put them into our system and we can use to analyze our readings by the use of the uh, softwares which come along with this unit. So this we close and this is the port for the PC connections. Now let's have a look inside. So this is a tablet form. This is touch screen and very interactive and easy to use. It also has an inbuilt thermal printer. This doesn't need any ink because this is a thermal one. Easy to change the cartridge. You can see here. It. So we touch here and the unit starts. This is the home page. What this shows to us, these are very simple to operate buttons. You can see from here, this is right now we have put this unit in the simulation mode because we do not have any inlet and outlet oil supplies which we can check. So it shows the battery life. Right now it is showing 56 hours of battery life. This is the power button. This is to just to increase and decrease the brightness of the screen. This is to set the upper and lower limits. I will come to this again. And these are the settings. We will explain this in detail. So basically on this screen you can see which are the past tests done. And these colors show that these were within the range or out of the range. Suppose this is one of the tests. So there are different, you can see the results in the form of a bar graph or in the form of a line graph or in the form of the particle counts with micron. So First, basically, this is a very important point that this particle counter is an eight channel particle counter, which means it counts the particles of eight types of eight sizes of the particles like four micron, six micron, 14, 21, 25, 38, 50 and 70. There are other specifications which I will read out to you later. So how does it work? This works on the 
एल ई डी लाइट एक्सटेंशन प्रिंसिपल एल ई अर्लियर द लेजर्स वर यूज बट नाउ एडवांस एल ई डीज आर अवेलेबल सो दिस मेक्स इट मोर रिलायबल एंड मोर एक्यूरेट सो लेट्स परफॉर्म अ टेस्ट ऑन द मशीन सो टू परफॉर्म अ टेस्ट लेट्स फर्स्ट सेट द सेटिंग्स सो वेन वी हैव टू गो इन द सेटिंग्स सो दिस इज हाउ द सेटिंग्स वी हैव टू मेक वेन वी हैव टू स्टार्ट एनी टेस्ट फर्स्ट इज द रेफरेंस लेट्स सेट द रेफरेंस रेफरेंस राइट नाउ सेट इज ए बी सी वन टू थ्री सो यू कैन पुट एनी रेफरेंस यूर मशीन नेम यूर वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू पुट सो हेयर वी पुट वन टू थ्री देन बी सी एफ सो दिस आर टेस्ट रेफरेंस फॉर टूडे so you can see here is a test reference it will also be stored in the database so whenever we take the readings through the pen drive so it will come here now the next comes the result formats we know that there are different standards different formats which are followed nationally internationally many countries have their own standards so this gives so many standards so you can interpret the results in any of the formats you can see here right now it is on the iso we can also put it on the nas there are as405 time and many others so as we require we can choose the reporting format here so let's put it on iso back because uh, we will follow this one so now test type we can fix here three test types number one is normal number two if you want to continuously monitor the results if we want that lpa should continuously keep on taking the readings and number 4 is the bottle sampling so right now we have put it on the normal mode uh, normal test type now here uh, we can um, set the flush time and then the sample or what i should do i should put it on the continu continuous so you get more insight of the features yeah so here it is now on the flush uh, on the continuous test type so here you see it is on the 30 seconds you can do it up to 120 seconds this is the flush time let's put it on the 30 seconds now here is the sample volume this feature is not in most of the particle counters available in the market we can here set the test volume from 25 ml to 100 ml 100 ml is the test volume specified as per the standard so we can also alter most of the particle counters take lesser volume and then integrate the results and then show the readings but here you can do maximum up to 100 ml also also this is the weight if you are doing multiple tests you are doing uh, five tests suppose repetition is here 15 maybe it is 7 so you can set the interval the weight between the two tests okay and also here is stop when clean so how the uh, unit will come to know that the fluid is clean so here we can set the limits i will just explain it here is the diagnostics and now right now this is in the simulation mode here is the language so so this is the upper limit and this is the lower limit so if the oil get dirtier the limit increases and then we know that the oil is now dirty and the readings come in the red color and then we can switch on the trolley as it goes cleaner it will turn to amber and then green so this way we can set the limits also we can take the actions through our control panel what has to be done if it is clean we have to switch off the trolleys if it is dirty we can uh, switch on the trolleys and many other actions which we can take so now let's start a test so all the parameters we had set and now we are starting a test here so it is sampling right now these are the readings of the previous test see now the readings are with us so this is also uh, showing the iso 4406 is the format this is our test reference which which we selected and here you can see the iso code that is 46 and 14 microns is 20 18 and 16 and these are the particle counts volume of the sample is 100 ml and we can now print these results these are automatically stored in the database we can take a print if you want to use it any time and here i forgot to explain this is the pressure of the oil at the inlet so because this machine can be directly connected to a 400 bar uh, fluid connection that is not a problem there are some other features which i will explain from the leaflet 
This is the brochure for LPA3. Now I will read out some of the other specifications of this equipment. So specifications include its working principle, the technology is LED light extinction, which I explained. The particles, it's an 8 channel particle counter. So from 4 micron to 70 micron it counts. We can have the, uh, the results in different formats. The accuracy is half plus minus half code for 4, 6 and 14 microns and one code for higher sizes. Calibration, the unit comes calibrated for one year uh, with ISO standard 11171 ISO. Viscosity range is 400 CST. Fluid temperature plus 5 degrees Celsius to maximum of 80 degrees Celsius which this machine can test. Also for this machine to test any fluid the light should be able to pass through it because this doesn't this works on the light extinction principle so it does not test any fluids which are opaque. Ambient temperature is minus 10 degrees to plus 80 degrees. Pressure the minimum pressure of the fluid to, for this machine to work is 2 bars. In case we do not have enough pressure or this has to be connected in the return line, we can have a pressure control valve. Also the maximum pressure is 420 bars. Sample volume, we can fix maximum sample volume up to 100 ml. This machine stores 4000 4, test results. Environmental protection, when the lid is closed, this is IP66, when the lid is open because of this screen and the printer, the um, IP rating is IP54. Now power, it has a lithium ion rechargeable battery which is 1819 volt, 2.1 to 3 ampere. Weight is around 10 kgs, product dimensions are 435 mm, the height is 292 mm and the depth is 155 mm. You can have uh, more details on this. We have three versions of LP3 available. One is for the mineral oil, one is for water glycose, and one is for the phosphate esters. So for more details, you can write to me on the below email address, or you can visit our website, uh, which is also mentioned below. And also uh, from this brochure, you can download it from our website, or you can write to me for this. You can select the model code, and for any other queries, you can reach out to me. Stay home, stay safe. Good luck. Thank you.